all right so we are back on the Habeek Trail Jamie and I probably took us about three hours to hitch from Tropic all the way to Hurricane Wash about 30 miles down pulling the rock road so that worked out as good as really it possibly could have that's very and nice people yes we did um and now we are back on the Hayduke so I'm gonna hike up to that plateau up there and really try to enjoy the next few days and see see what it has in store for us So I just finished the climb up uh, to 50 mile mountain, 50 mile plateau, whatever they call it. And it was super fun. Having some trouble following this pack trail. It's supposed to take us into Monday Canyon. So we just kind of picked a point on the horizon and saw where the waypoint was on our GPS and just kind of going for that. Uh, right foot first, pull and then All right, so this is an unmarked water source. Towards the end of our 30 mile carry, we started with uh, six liters from Mudhole Spring, and that definitely was not enough. Fortunately, we found a few potholes in Monday Canyon with pretty good water in it. So just taking this water to get us to Last Chance Creek. Water is pretty alkaline, but it's a whole lot better than nothing. So grateful to have it here. Nice butterfly in the water. It took its last drink here. <laughs> Rest in peace. All right, Jamie is used to be a skilled climber, so he'll do it with the pack. Uh oh, I don't know if I can do that. We'll see. Here he goes. <laughs> the last climb was not scary enough for Jamie, so. You know, you have to climb down. 
This is not part of the official Haiti crowd. How's the climb? That was a really fun way to end the day. Yeah. Honestly, it was like 30 degrees. We're taking the Reese saddle shortcut, which is right up there. So end of Paradise Canyon, done about 22 miles today. And now we have a water carry. So we just fill up six liters of water each and should have another few miles left with the setting sun. And it's been another great day on the Hay Duke Trail. Up and cruising here on day number four for about two hours now. Got some easy roads to walk on all the way to Grossford Rouch and Crown Valley Draw to finish up segment seven. And they say the Hay Duke is uh, slow miles and fast miles. We're definitely on some fast miles right now. So it feels good to just kind of zone out a bit and, and cruise this morning. And it's just an absolutely beautiful day had an awesome camp spot last night up on the ridge amazing sunset slept fantastic got up once to pee and the milky way was a giant arch all the way across the sky so i mean what more can you ask for than that all right so we found some trail magic, some peanuts and almonds on the ground. They look, they're pretty fresh and tasty. So we just got our cash at Round Valley Draw. 
Now we're walking the three miles down to the beginning of the Sock Canyon. When we were filling up water earlier, we noticed some uh, maybe threatening looking clouds like way on the horizon. And we were pretty concerned about it considering we we're going into a Sock Canyon. But we had some cell service, checked the weather, it doesn't say any chance of rain. So, and now it's been a few hours and really weather looks fine. So we're gonna head down into there. So, um, quick update here. Um, Jamie and I actually decided to split up for the first time in the time we've been hiking the Hayduke Trail. We got to the um, entrance to the Round Valley Draw Slot Canyon, and there was one drop off that was maybe six or seven feet that I was able to do after he convinced me of it. And then we got to the second one, and it was just too exposed and too much, um, excuse me, pressure through the shoulders. And I just really felt like I couldn't do it and he was really trying to convince me but I just didn't feel safe um, for me to do it so um, Jamie decided to go down the canyon and I decided to hike up and out of the canyon and there's an, supposed to be a road and then a, a bypass down the other side of the narrows and we're going to try to try to meet up at the end so it's a little bit um, unnerving to split up and you know, hope that we're going to meet up, you know, there's no cell phone service out here. So, um, we just have to both rely on our skills and navigational, um, abilities to link back up again in Hackberry Canyon. All right. So Jamie made it through the Canyon and then a little bit up the climb on the bypass to, to meet me. So it definitely was moving faster than me. So. Yeah. I basically <laughs> jogged through that to get back here to you, but it was pretty cool and <laughs> worth it. I'm glad we both made our own decisions there. For, yeah. For yeah. Me too. Soon. So we were really running low on water coming all the way down the canyon. It said there might be some water um, a few miles before this spring, but there was not. And at least we found this puddle. It was kind of saturated for point one, but this is our water for tonight. It might not look like much, but we are sure, sure glad to have it. There is more, but that's about as good as it gets right here. Yeah. All right, morning of uh, day number five. So uh, didn't get to sleep till pretty late last night. So we decided to sleep in and we are quite a bit ahead of schedule uh, getting into Tropic on Friday. So we have lots of beta on different alternates and side trips and things to check out. So we're really gonna take our time, which is kind of nice. And right now we're in the uh, Stone Donkey, which is supposed to become a slot canyon at some point of the way up here so um yeah sh should be fun to take our time today and and really explore these canyons and there's the stone donkey himself dave b the big beetle there to eat it <laughs> So just finished the uh, stone donkey little side trip. It's about 11 o'clock and just getting back to the Hayduke and we've only done like two miles so far. So making good time, wasting time today. <laughs> Careful.
All right, we found the uh, Watson cabin. Let's have a look inside here. Pretty cool. Look at that old fireplace and some old cowboy glyphs on the wood. Some of them are like early 1900s. find in these drainages All you right. good do you need help jamie's stuck in quicksand here this is uh Let's see if he can demonstrate <laughs> maybe put your hand out try to get on that rock or just work your way back it's actually not that bad like it's <laughs> oh that was that you good <laughs> look at that jiggling <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I totally... <laughs> Be from April 16th. They said, uh, they didn't even know the, they didn't even have a waypoint. They just said they, like, wandered up the side canyon and saw it. So that's pretty cool. It is. Yeah. Sheep Creek on day number six. Um, so pretty much just walking up the Perea today. Lots of quicksand in there. Um, it's pretty fun actually to experience it and walk through it. But now um, it's about a little after 5 p.m. And at the end of our day, we're trying to get to the end of segment eight, but we have the Willis Creek Narrows at the end. And for the first time all, all trip, we felt a couple of raindrops and just heard some thunder maybe five minutes ago and you don't want to be in a slot canyon or narrows when when there's thunderstorms around but we're still probably like two hours away from there so just gonna kind of wait and see very angry very very angry that's a western diamond belt
Steven Thomas. Nobody knows where you are. You're so far around the bend. You're so far around the bend. Now there's no leaving. All right, so walking this Gatumpa Road, I think is how you say it. We found a nice young man in a car, and he gave us some trail magic so a nice ipa at eight in the morning and just got a kind of a long road walk on the town today but should be really easy miles and we should be there by early afternoon so um yeah great section seven and eight of the hey duke are done <laughs> 